Praise the Lord. God is good, Amy Shelby Elton Dennis. He is good. Hallelujah. Receive Overseer Johnson in Jesus' name. Come on, receive him. one message from one, script, from one scripture do like the old school church when you get to say amen and Peter was come to himself and he said now I know of a surety that the Lord has sent an angel and hath delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from all the expectations of the people of the Jews. Close your Bible real quickly. I want to preach from a message called My Expectation Has Shifted. People of God, it's so imperative that we understand that God has put us in a place that we must understand this, that our expectation has to change. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, my expectation has to change. A lot of us, we have the same expectations that we've been having for years. And every time our expectation has been the same, we have gotten hurt. I've learned this one thing about people. People, you have to learn how to put people in their place. You have to learn to put people in their place. The, once people have shown you who they are, you have to put them in their place. I, I'm one of the people that so happened to give people for so long the benefit of the doubt. I was a benefit of the doubt person. But when I turned 31, I learned something that we're giving excuses to people to do things they shouldn't have to do. Uh, old people said, you know, first time is shame, shame on you. Um, second time is shame on me. It is so important that we understand here in this text, in this pericope of scripture, that you know here Peter had come to himself. And I want to tell you, people of God, that you have to learn tonight that I'm going to come to myself. A lot of you have been existing but not living. A lot of you have just been there, but you have no purpose. You haven't had any purpose behind anything that you were doing. Just look at somebody and say, neighbor, there has to be purpose that comes out of my life. Uh, what, what, what are we doing here? What are we, what are we doing? Why are we doing what we're doing? Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to feedback because I got the monitors up, so just cut the names back up for me. It, it, what are we doing here? Uh, why are we here? What are we doing? Uh, we're just coming to church and just having service with no demonstration. I'm at the place now where I'm tired of us not having demonstration. Yeah, uh, uh, Aren't you tired of coming to church Sunday after Sunday hearing a sermon, hearing singing, hearing shouting, but there you're still going home to the same thing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to get to the place where you go home and you have to fix whatever the situation is. Just mute the organ mics. God is at a place now where he's understanding and he's giving us understanding that guess what? We have to come to ourselves. Peter, here in this text, I just want to preach this scripture today. Here in the text, Peter came to himself. So before this text, that means Peter was not in himself. 
Peter was in a different level, a different place. But you have to understand this. Peter had to come to himself. Have you ever been in a place where you had to come to yourself and you've been in situations and things have happened and you didn't even understand why you're, how you got here? How did you get in this situation? But I came to tell you there are some things that have to be changed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We are the most people that desire change but don't want to change. We are the most people that desire a new level but don't want to take the proper steps for it. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It takes maturity and discipline. I'm a big preacher on maturity and discipline because the simple fact we have a lot of people in leadership that can preach, they can lay hands, they can do that, but they can't stop sinning. Yeah. We got a lot of folks that can that can exegete a text. They know how to rap back. They know church etiquette. They know how to move, but there's no deliverance. Y'all ain't saying nothing. How, how can you preach to me and sin with me? Y'all ain't saying nothing. There has to be, turn your neighbor and say, discipline. And when Peter came to himself, yes, Lord, he had to understand that there are some things that he has to change. There are some things that he has to cut out. Turn your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to cut out some things. Uh, I, I get scared, Elder Sean, when you are a leader and you're comfortable in sin. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I get scared when you hold a title and you just say where well, people know I'm good. No, you're not good in your sin. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, you should never feel comfortable in sinning. Yes, sir. If, if you ever get to a place when there's no condemnation, there is nothing that's over you. There is no conviction that hits you. You better get to a place and you understand this, you ain't got the Holy Ghost. Huh? Because the Holy Ghost can't live in a temple where you sin freely and don't care. Uh, Y'all don't want to preach. And Peter came to himself. Turn your neighbor and say, neighbor, I got to come to myself. Yeah, they're going to turn a deaf ear to holiness preaching. But they, but they want the new car and new house. But, but baby, you can't get the new house and a new car until you fix your life. Yeah, Because you're going to take that same demon out the old house uh, into the new house. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Tell somebody, I got to get delivered. I'm not your friend here. Yeah, yeah, as, as a pastor, a pastor has to come down and tell you, you got to be delivered. There are some things, there are some situations, there are some struggles that we all struggle with, but there are some things that we're not struggling with. We just choose to do. Man, the God is all right. Y'all ain't even got to change nothing. It's all right. There are some things you don't even have to struggle with. All you have to do is just stay there. Just stay there. And that's where some of y'all are at. Your mind is there. You're settled in sin. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I got to get out of this place. I got to get out of this place. I never seen a generation where we come into the house of God and we're comfortable in sin. I, I never seen a generation where we would treat the house of God like it's a house that Jack built. I never seen a And Peter came to himself. Turn to your neighbor, say, neighbor, you got to come to yourself. Uh, it is so important and imperative, God Almighty, that we understand Man, that clock is disciplined. Good God. It is so imperative that you got to understand this right here. That you know Peter came to himself. That means that he had to understand that there was something that is wrong with me. Yes, yeah, some of y'all come with this self-righteous spirit and make everybody feel like you're perfect and you're right and you're high. And you, as my apostle would say, you're pious and you're high and lifted. And you don't understand that you're struggling and you're one text message away from a scandal. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, some of y'all playing with me. You can't play with me. Yes, sir. Some of you are one Snapchat away because you got to understand just because it deletes does not mean that a person don't got two phones and they can take a picture of it. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm going to help the church on tonight because there's a lot of sin. And the Bible told her, he said, he told Achan, he said, listen, I can't do nothing yet because there's sin in the camp. You can't go to the next level and there's sin in the camp. That has to be some deliverance. 
why you can't cast out you you're trying to cast out a demon but you have the same demon on the inside of you ah uh, you're trying to cast out spirits and you have the same spirit that's on the side that's inside of you the same spirit that you're trying to cast you don't have enough power to cast it out yourself first. and peter came to himself and he said now i know surely there has been an angel sent we have to understand here that god has sent your pastor tonight your levite your leader he sent your overseer tonight to tell you that guess what if you don't get your house in order payday is coming back yeah we're not gonna get many views tonight on this sermon because the simple fact of the matter i'm not hooping about a new car and we're not gonna hoop about a new job because the problem is some of y'all got jobs and you calling out every moment you got yeah how can you go to a new job y'all ain't saying nothing god is saying that he wants you to get your mind back find yourself Uh, if I can execute this one scripture, he said, surely an angel uh, has been sent to me uh, uh, that has delivered me out of the hand of Hera. Uh, you better understand here that Peter understood this, uh, that he was in a hand that he shouldn't have been in. Uh, and I came to encourage two or three people, uh, get out of the hand that's illegal to you. Yes, sir. Uh, I came to tell you this one thing. Uh, I don't care what you've been connected to. Uh, I don't even care what you've been taught. Yeah. Uh, but this is the moment where you come to yourself. Uh, lean over to somebody and say, neighbor, uh, I gotta come to myself. So he understood that he had to come to himself. Now, after I came to myself, that means I've understood what's around me. Uh, the problem is this. Your discernment is off. We got titles. With, we got a shout. We got a dance. Men of God, but we don't have discernment. She, she my daughter. She all right. They all just walk all day. Listen. They don't understand discernment. But you got a tongue. You got to shout and you got to dance, but don't have discernment. Tell somebody, say, neighbor, you don't need it just to shout and a dance, huh? but you got to be able to see a devil huh? when it comes. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Yeah, if we had discernment, we would see the demons that's trying to come after your pastor. Y'all ain't saying nothing. If you had discernment, you would call me and say, listen, I saw this. Y'all, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Turn, turn your neighbor and say, neighbor, you got to get in position. That means that you cannot allow, men of God, you cannot allow no clutter to stop you from where you're going. The enemy will use whoever and whenever he can use to destroy you and take you out. But I came to tell you, so he said, here, yeah, he said, listen, and Peter came to himself. And he said, he said, listen, now I know for surely that God, the Lord, has sent an angel. Now, then he has delivered me out of the hand of Hera. Now, I came to encourage you and tell you on tonight uh, to release everything uh, that's connected to you that shouldn't be. Uh, lean over to somebody and say, neighbor, uh, I gotta let go everything uh, that I've been connected to uh, that's been sucking me dry. Uh, I gotta let go everything uh, that I've been connected to uh, that's been trying to take me out. Uh, I gotta let go uh, of everything. Uh, but the one thing about it, uh, some of you want promotion, uh, but you don't want deliverance. Uh, but tell somebody, say, neighbor, uh, before I go to a new level, uh, I gotta stop sinning. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, I gotta clean out my inbox. Uh, gotta clean out my Snapchat. Uh, gotta clean out my mouth. Uh, gotta clean out my thoughts. Uh, Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Uh, Y'all got to learn that we got to move to another level. But in order, you got to want deliverance. Some of y'all say, me, I need some deliverance. Uh, is there anybody in here? Uh, they can say, Brother Preacher, uh, I hear what you're saying. Uh, I need some deliverance. Uh, 
I'm in a place now where I need direction. I'm in a place now where I need cleansing. Is there anybody that can say, neighbor, I know that I had some thoughts that won't even like God. I may not gossip. I may not cuss. I may not smoke. But the thoughts that I had were wrong against my brother. The thoughts that I had was wrong against my sister. And I came to myself, lean over to somebody and tell them I'm coming to myself. If you ever think that I'm acting funny, it's just that I came to myself. If you ever think that I'm being petty, I ain't being petty. I'm not being distant. But I had to come to myself just like Peter did. And he came to himself. And he understood that he was in a situation that he shouldn't have been in. Lean over to somebody. Rock them and shake them. Shake them and rock them. And tell them, I'm coming out of this. Yes, sir. My expectation has shifted to a new level. My expectation has went to a new If you ain't acting right, I can't stay connected. If you ain't pushing me, I can't stay connected. If you broke, I can't stay connected. Tell somebody, you better get to a place where you understand what God is about to do in my life. I can't stay connected to foolishness. So here in the text, you got to understand, Peter had the thoughts. He was going through situations, but he had to understand that if I could just come to myself, I'm going to have a better understanding. I came to tell two or three people that you're going to have a better understanding in this next season. Kind of not strange when God make you aware of the snakes that's in your life. Oh God, kind of not strange when God makes you aware of the people in your life that's not for you. Yes, Lord, my old apostle will preach a message. The smiling faces, they tell lies. And I came to tell you, just because they smile in your face, just because they hang with you, just because y'all call each other brother and sis, you better get to a place where you understand how Peter had to come to himself uh, and as I come to myself uh, I can see clearly now uh, the rain is gone uh, no more obstacles uh, in my way uh, I uh, wish I had somebody uh, that can say uh, I'm a blessed the Lord uh, even in this uh, even as I come to myself uh, that's going to be some pain uh, that hits my life uh, that's going to be some frustration uh, that hits my life uh, because there are going to be a lot of people uh, that be revealed uh, in this next season uh, but lean over to somebody uh, and tell them uh, that I just came to myself uh, if I don't call you no more uh, I came to myself uh, if I don't text you no more uh, I came to myself uh, and I understood this uh, that I was in the hand uh, of Herod uh, and I had to get out the hand uh, Get out the plan. Lean over to somebody and say, neighbor, get out the plan of your enemy. Lean over to somebody and say, neighbor, get off the plantation. Get out of it. You ain't going to work for that slavery no more. Get out of it. God just delivered you. Some of y'all are in situations where you've been walking around on eggshells and the Lord just told me to tell you to get off the plantation get out and be delivered he's gonna deliver you out of the hand of Herod I came to tell you open your mouth give him praise no longer bow I tell you to shout that I'm free wherever you go next just tell somebody look at somebody and say I'm free I'm free I'm free I'm free yes Lord so here he had to understand that if I would just get out 
of the hand of Herod. God would send uh, an angel. Uh, and I came to tell you uh, that as he sends uh, an angel, uh, don't you uh, deny uh, the angel uh, and what God uh, has sent you. Uh, I came to prophesy uh, and tell you this one thing. Uh, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Uh, help is on the way. Uh, you can't die now. Uh, help is on the way. Uh, you can't die now. Uh, help is on the way. Uh, lean over and tell somebody. Uh, help. Uh, it's on the way. Uh, my expectation uh, has shifted. Uh, if you don't like me, uh, you just don't like me. Uh, if you don't care, uh, you just don't care. Uh, but I came to tell you, I got a charge to keep uh, and I got the glory for. Come on, give him praise. Come on. Come on, give him praise. Come on. Come on. All this preaching. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. I got to live where a child is ways. Because I want to see the king. I got to put away dirty relationships. Because I want to see the king. I got much worse. But tonight, 